Hey there, all. Pete here again. Uh, well, didn't think I'd be saying this, but then here's an updated sales video. I got a bit of a shocker last night. Got an email through the auction site Gumtree. I know if you're in the UK, you know who Gum what Gumtree is. I had the other four sales pieces up for sale in there. The tank traps, the flames of war, all set, rock set. Uh, the abandoned fountain in the ruined house. Got an email last night from someone saying they want basically all four bits, give me a price, give me a postage price, and we'll pay. But I've not, they're still here at the moment, so I've got to wait for money to come in, but, and get it weighed, but yep. I've got these two up for sale anyway. Just finished this them. display base plinth. Don't know how well this is coming up on camera. Just got a model just to show how big it is. Let's see it's in a sort of rocky cave effect. I did film film this yesterday, but my daughter came walking in and started speaking when I was speaking just at the end, so I thought, no, there's no point in having that happen. And yeah, and I just give a better video of it. I'll just zoom in. Like you can see, there's got webbing hanging down, and just behind him. Sorry for the bad paint job on the old zombie. You can see like a sort of cocoon webbing effect going on here. Just one type of flock, just a sort of dirty, leafy sort of flock. Cheap foliage. And yeah, it's just basically. Just on a cheap, cheap little plump. Well, foot of a unit, should I say. Basically, caught it. Made this absolutely from scratch. Like you can see, piles and piles and piles of rock. I'll just. Yep, you can hear. Oh no. See, rock solid. It's like a plastic almost. That's why I love this sort of moulding stuff that I use. Perfect for rocks. Just mix, well, paste a bit of wood glue over it as well, or something like that, just to really seal it down. So, yep, got this. Going for. I'm actually going to. On. Well, when I filmed it yesterday, I said it was £15. Stuff it. It's going for 10 It's cheap and easy. 10 plus postage. So, yep, that's one. And yep, you've all seen my little evil pumpkin video, but I've not done a showcase on it yet or anything. So this is basically sales and showcase on it. Don't really know how well that's coming up. And yep, this was the first, first really well sort of sculpted on. I just based it on a cheap bit of slate that I found outside. I know. And I don't know, I just out of nowhere just thought I'll make a pumpkin. It's like I've tried there, I tried doing it a bit browner to make it like the sort of stem. I've done markings like you could just lift it off. It was quite simple to do, just basically make a teardrop and then bend bend the top a wee bit. But trying to get all I done was basically scratch down. Scratch down, scratch down, maybe just done a few little stabs to make the holes. It was just a quick and easy orange, orangey sort of paint job. Picking out the eyes and the nose and the mouth wasn't easy. I used a blade, basically a blade to make the lines for the mouth just so I had something deep and sharp to go in. The eyes, basically used like a cocktail stick just to sort of round them out. But yeah, and cheap foliage is just the same as that. It's glued at the bottom, glued at the top, but it's loose at the sides, so it gives more of an effect of, yeah, it's real. Like I say, just really neat little piece, and just some leaf edge around the side. Well, it's actually where paint landed on the base. And, yeah, just use it as a terrain piece, use it as just anything, really, if you want. 
Yeah. Uh, well, I've had them up for sale on Twitter and Facebook. My pages. Just selling them at three pound, really. Nothing much. Nothing fancy. It's a good little sculpt. It was fun to do. So yeah, that's what I've got just now for the updated sales. And like I say, hopefully the other stuff does sell. Um. Well, getting another little train set going. It's going to be a five piece at least set. Three of one thing and two of another thing, but the two thing will be different sizes and their sculpts and the other, the three other things are molds. So yep, yeah, it'll be fun. And I, if you actually want you can go on my Twitter or Facebook pages at Candy Art Studio and Facebook Candy Art Studio and you'll see a little sneak picture on my Twitter page, it's the last picture I posted up anyway so you'll see a little sneak peek of what sculpt it is, it's in a white done it in a white pie and you'll see some really neat details which I've learnt which will be very very shortly once I get some wood cut for bases and then hopefully have them done by well video up by next week so yeah if you are interested in in the display base like I say 10 quid plus postage I just want rid of it don't want really stuff sitting around like I say little pumpkin I'll just put a model next to it just for size wise it's just just a bit under the 28 millimeter scale For three pound plus well maybe uh, maybe a pound or two just for postage or something nothing much but yeah if you're interested then um leave a comment below and i'll try and get back to you somehow okay